East McNichols in Detroit, Six Mile Road to some, between Mound and Van Dyke, is a wasteland of shuttered factories and burned-out mom-and-pop shops. It looks a lot like New Orleans after Hurricane Katrina, right down to the abandoned boats washed up on a vacant lot. Amid this sea of post-industrial detritus floats an island of warmth, camaraderie, and home cooking. It's the home of the original Marcus Hamburger, served in this location since 1929. Charles G. Marcus started the business here and eventually grew the chain to 12 restaurants. Of those, only the original location on McNichols at Mount Elliott remains. Mike and Louis Lozanowski keep the place afloat. It's been in their family since 1970. A lot of factories around here, they used to keep us in business and they still do, are mostly closed down because of the economy. And that hurts us a little bit, but we're still, as much as everything is closed down, people are still coming here. Okay, it's historic. It's a Detroit original. But what is a Marcus burger? Famous uh, hamburgers on a hot dog buns. The hamburgers on a hot dog bun. Oh, I've been coming to Marcus burgers since I was a little girl with my mom and dad. At least 60 years, <laughs> at least. When we had our children, I, we just told them we were going to go for hamburgers and a hot dog bun. We grind our own meat. We, uh, it's an all-steak beef. We, uh, we use a top round, like uh, not too much fat, maybe 10% fat in that meat. You know, we, we cannot tell the whole recipe. That's why it's a Detroit uh, secret uh, family recipe. People very often ask why the Marcus hamburgers are shaped the way they are, and it, it really isn't anything great or romantic or a big story behind it. It's just the very essence of who my grandfather was, practical. They were made rectangular so that they could be made very quickly and efficiently instead of having to be individually hand patted. Uh, that was the basis of who he was. And I've been coming here to Marcus ever since 1944 when I was going to high school in Hamtramck. After the dances, after the basketball games, football games, we always came here and had Marcus. And I have granddaughters in Indiana like to come here and have burgers. And when I go there, I have to take some down there. Bring the Marcus over. Me, I met my husband here. He hounded me for 10 years. He come in here every day and asked me out. And I said no for 10 years. And then finally I gave in. And I have been coming here for some 74 years now. I'm 82 years old. The first time I came here, it was, uh, was a treat for the family because uh, it was just right after the Depression. It was in the 30s. And uh, uh, I, I think my father used to pay uh, 12 cents for the hamburger, and that was like uh, an hour's wages. And uh, so it was really a treat. And they were excellent then, and they are excellent now. I think the food is still great. That's why I come here. Today we had two and a half hamburgers apiece. Can you believe that? <laughs> and a large bowl of chili. And I'm on a diet. My wife is going to kill me. <laughs> and I originally was dragged here to Marcus because my father said this was the best hamburger in town. The only problem is every time we come down here, I have to hear the story of how my father came here when he was six or eight years old. He had to walk through the snow with bare feet uphill both ways. <laughs> Christ, if we got into a time machine and went back 50 years, it would still be the same. <laughs> yeah.